LeBron is one of the greatest players the league has ever seen and has won almost every award a superstar of his caliber could win. But there's one prize missing from his cabinet, the Defensive Player of the Year award. Why is that? In his prime, he was one of the most feared defenders in the league, making five straight NBA All-Defensive First Teams. But somehow, the Defensive Player of the Year trophy eluded him. He did, however, come close once though to capture it. Let's take you back to 2013. LeBron was on pace to do what only one man had ever done before, win league MVP, finals MVP, the championship, and the defensive player of the year trophy, all in one season. But he came just shy of that feat, just barely missing out on the defensive player of the year award to Mark Gasol. Okay, that was all jokes. Marc Gasol is a phenomenal defender. He can read offensive schemes like few can and is a master at positioning himself. But to give him the award this season over LeBron James is ridiculous. This is a chart of the 2012-2013 All-Defensive Team. Gasol sits all the way down here on the second team an individual who didn't even make the all-defensive first team was given the title best defender of the season. It gets worse than that though. Gasol not only had the least number of votes by a significant margin of anyone on the team, I would go as far as to say he was lucky to even make the team. See the all-defensive team usually has two slots for centers. The one we're looking at today has three. This is because Tyson Chandler and Joakim Noah tied for the first team spot, leaving room for a third center to join the all-defensive team. That spot was given to Marc Gasol, despite him receiving less votes than Larry Sanders. The league essentially pretended Larry wasn't a center so Marc could get on the team. So why did a player who was lucky to even get on the second team get the award. The discrepancy comes down to who was selecting the winners. The all defensive team was selected by NBA head coaches, while the defensive player of the year award was selected by 124 sports writers and broadcasters. They had very differing opinions on who the best defender in the league was, but one thing was clear, both sides regarded LeBron as a top 3 defender in the league, while the same cannot be said about Gasol. So now the question becomes, why did the media name him, a player who barely made it onto the all defensive team, the best defender in the league, and snub LeBron? There's four main reasons to that. Sports writers and broadcasters simply love analytics. They will quote a stat for just about anything. And analytically, Gasol had a terrific defensive year. He was the centerpiece to the second best defensive team in the league. He also checked in number one in defensive box plus minus, number five in defensive rating, and number two in defensive win share. The Grizzlies allowed roughly seven less points per 100 possession when Gasol was on the floor. LeBron analytically was not at the level Gasol was defensively. But analytics can be very misleading. In this season, Tyson Chandler had the highest offensive rating. A player who is known to have no offensive game whatsoever led the league in offensive rating. That is how misleading analytics can be. The numbers also do not provide you context. Gasol this season was playing with two other players who made the all defensive team. LeBron on the other hand played with zero. He didn't even have a single team who made top 20 in a defensive metric. The media ignored the context of the situation these two players were in and took the stats at face value. This was the biggest reason LeBron didn't win the award. The media didn't value the eye test as much as stats. 
and the eye test clearly put LeBron James as a better and more impactful defender than Gasol by significant margin. He's intimidating, smart, fast, strong, and versatile enough to not only guard all five positions in the course of a game, but even lock up the best offensive players in the league. 2013 was a tricky time in LeBron's career. People still didn't want to see him succeed. He was still one of the most hated athletes after leaving Cleveland and joining the Heat. Some media members let this factor into their voting, and it hurt LeBron. The inherent bias of attributing big men to defense hurt LeBron. Prior to 2013, only one non-big won the award in the last 17 years. This notion of big means good defender helped Gasol gain more votes. All these reasons culminated into LeBron getting robbed of the Defensive Player of the Year award. When it was clear, he displayed the best defensive season. The coaches seen it that way, the fans seen it that way, the players seen it that way, but the media didn't, giving it to an inferior defender and robbing him. Many may think this robbery is not big because he has many other awards in his cabinet, but when you're contending for GOAT status, these stuff matter. It's what essentially makes or breaks your case. Listen to Steven Jackson's reasoning on why Jordan is the GOAT. But what separates Jordan from everybody? Defensive player of the year. Y'all don't talk about that. How can you be the top scorer and the best defender? Nobody's done that but Jordan. That's what separates Jordan from everybody else. Conversation over. This trophy could have given LeBron a better case for why he is the best to ever play. Thank you for watching. Be sure to share the video and subscribe. This is Earn Your Ranks, where we only talk about ball. Signing off.